Hi, Carpentries community. I'm Dr. Carrie Jordan, your executive director, and I'm here with Tara Robertson, equity and inclusion and accessibility consultant, to just share a few things with you regarding our equity, inclusion, and accessibility roadmap. Now, the Carpentries received a grant from the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative to advance equitable outcomes for our community. And I've been working with Tara. I'm so excited for y'all to meet her so that we can better align our equity, inclusion, and accessibility roadmap with our strategic plan for 2020 to 2025. In addition to that alignment, Tara is also going to be working on a toolkit of resources for the community to use. So I'm really excited to be here with you all today and to introduce you to Tara Robertson. Would you like to tell the community a little bit about yourself, Tara? I'd love to. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Tara Robertson. I've been doing this work for about 15 years, and I'm focused on working with leaders to build strategies that shift systems. I also love working with global teams. In the past couple of years, I've worked with OpenScapes, MIT Press, I spent three years in house at the global tech company Mozilla. And before all of that, I was a librarian and really active in the code for lib and access library technology communities. I am so loving working with you, Dr. Jordan. Can you share a little more about the background about the EIA roadmap? Absolutely. And I, I just have to tell you, you are a Carpentries community member. I'm, <laughs> I thought you were getting ready to say, and I'm also a library carpentry instructor because you've done so much with the libraries. It's so great to have to be able to work with you. So yes, uh, a little bit about the roadmap, our equity, inclusion and accessibility roadmap. It was released in June of 2019. And it was our way of appreciating where we were in terms of supporting the community, making it, making it accessible, making it inclusive. Not only appreciating where we were, but putting the work into planning where we want to be and then sort of road mapping those steps out, step by step, how can we get there? How can we be the organization that truly values all contributions and, and brings in members of the community that are diverse, you know what I mean? And so we developed this roadmap, we released it in June of 2019. We were very thoughtful and intentional in that work, talking with the community members about the challenges that they were having and hoping that the roadmap would reflect what the community was saying. The roadmap came before the strategic plan, interestingly mm -hmm. enough. The strategic plan was released in January, 2020, whereas the roadmap for equity, inclusion, and accessibility was released in June of 2019. So the roadmap came before our three to five year strategic plan. So this isn't new for you, is it? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> if anyone knows me or if you've been around the Carpentries community for the past couple of years, you know at least once in a conversation, I'm going to mention the word equity, inclusion, or accessibility in some way, shape, or form. Um, what was really eye-opening for me is when you and I were, we literally mapped the strategic plan against the roadmap and to see how much of the objectives in the equity, inclusion, and accessibility roadmap were in the strategic plan. And again, these two documents were written at different times by different people. The, the strategic plan was drafted by our equity, our executive council, excuse me. And the, the roadmap, I wrote the roadmap along with members of our core team. So again, same community, different people creating these documents, but the common thread throughout both of them was equity, inclusion, and accessibility and accessibility. So not every single goal was highlighted in the strategic plan, but all of the work that we've been pushing to achieve in, in the equity and inclusion space has made its way to our strategic plan, or at least in our operations as a team. Amazing. So what, what's important for the community to know here? Well, I want the community to know the strategic plan is the plan. We have a way of creating lots of documentation to help the community drive itself and, and enjoy itself and creating 
inclusive environments for workshops and for creating lessons and things like that. We have lots of documentation. So sometimes it can get a little bit maybe confusing to know where is the carpentries headed in the next five years, right? We had this roadmap and we have the strategic plan. We have all these resources. Really what I wanna do is streamline this information as much as humanly possible. So the strategic plan is the plan. That's what I want the community to know. There are so many ways to get involved, but if I could, if there's one message <laughs> that I What's want- What's that one message? Be, the strategic plan is the plan. I'm going to make you a t-shirt that says that. I promise. And I will wear it in my next keynote. The strategic <laughs> plan is the plan. <laughs> so how can members of the community get involved? We have a repository. In of course the, you do. Of course, you know, I said that in my, I was like, of course we have a repository. <laughs> We have a repository for everything. So we do have a strategic plan repository under the Carpentries organization. And if you go to that repository, there are issues for each one of the deliverables in our strategic plan. Not only just an open GitHub issue, but comments with all of the work. It's sort of tracking all of the work that has been done for that specific deliverable. I want the community to check out that repository. You can also go to our blog and look up all of the blog posts that are tagged strategic plan, and you can see the progress that we're making. I'll be releasing in a couple of weeks, two, two weeks, I'll be releasing our year two in review for our strategic plan. So look out for that blog post. And lastly, it's a great time to teach a workshop. If it's been a while since you taught with the Carpentries, we have so many opportunities. And now that our workshops are remote, you can sit there home in Canada, Tara's in Canada, you can sit at home and you can actually teach a workshop for learners that are in Germany because we're using you know, the tools for remote learning. So get involved by teaching a workshop, contributing to a lesson, joining a Slack channel, and checking out the GitHub repository to learn more about the strategic plan.